Hello everyone. So let's see in this example where we want to send multiple letters to people. We have their names, addresses and their designations as well as their email IDs. So we'll be using Outlook to send their emails but we have this letter in a word template. So we'll specify the template path on the top and this is the template. So we have a formatted letter which has some images which has some dynamic content for example name, address and their designation which we want to pick from Excel and we want to generate this letter for each individual and then we want to send through Outlook. So we want to have this letter in the body of the email. Alright, so let us see how to write code for this. So we first go to insert and then we add a module. So now we need to create a sub procedure for this. So I create the sub procedure sub and the name of sub procedure which is send mail and then end sub procedure. Alright, so I need to write the entire logic in this sub procedure. So first of all, I need to work with Word document. So I declare dem wd as Word, but I see that I do not see this option here. So I need to add the reference for Word. So I go to tools, references, and I find Microsoft Word object library. It depends on the version that you have on your system. You probably have some different version, but the name should be Microsoft Word ob object library and then the version, right? Whatever version you have, just import it and then you would see word like this and then dot application. All right, so this is the object that we will be using to create or to launch the word application. And we also need to have an object for Outlook. So I create the dim OL as Outlook. Now again, we do not have this library imported for Outlook. So we need to search for Microsoft Outlook object library, right? So I just check here and then click on OK. By this, I am selecting this library and then I can use Outlook dot application. So, so far we have declared the two objects, one for Outlook and one for Word document. In the Outlook, I need to work on Outlook mail item. So I create OLM as Outlook dot mail item. In the Word application, I need to work with the document. So I create another uh, document object. So doc as Word dot document. Right, so these are the four objects I have declared so far. For Outlook, we have two one for Outlook application, one for Outlook mail item. For Word, we have one for application and one for document. Now we'll have a look at this Excel file. We have our rows starting from five, but number of rows we don't know. It should be dynamic. So I start from row five so for R equals five to. I need to make it dynamic so I will evaluate using sheets cells number of rows rows dot count which will take me to the last row of first column comma one so dot end and excel up will take me to the last available row which is having data and if I get the row number using dot row that means I am talking about five to eight even tomorrow if you have n number of rows which is having data for example if you have data till 15th row you will be having 15 here evaluated dynamically. All right, so for each row, you need to process something, you need to launch the word application. So I'm telling it that set wd equals new word dot application. Outlook we will be launching once, so I'm keeping that object on the top here outside the loop. So set ol equals new outlook dot application. All right, so that is the logic that I have kept outlook outside and word inside because in the loop itself i'll be launching the word application and then i'll be uh, opening the document and i will be making some changes in the document and then i'll be fetching the content put it in mail body outlook application i'll be keeping constant out of the loop but outlook mail item every mail item i'll be creating inside the loop all right so i create mail item so set olm equals ol dot create item of type mail item. So now we have the word application, but we have not yet opened the template. So I put this statement here. I first create the mail item and then I uh, create the word application. Doesn't matter the sequence, but I am just putting it here so that I can have all the statements related to word one after another. 
so after this i am setting document object so set document doc equals now we need to launch the template that we have we need to open it so wd dot documents dot open and in the argument we need to give the path of that template so this template path we can directly copy and paste from the folder that we have here we can copy the directory and the file name and the extension we we can paste it over there otherwise there is also an option that you read this value from a cell in excel so that way a user need not go to code every time but he can update the template here in the sheet itself so i put it here in the template cell and the cell reference is b3 not sorry it is b2 so i will put here cells 2 comma 2 or maybe range b2 directly all right so dot value so this way it would be launching the word application and then it will be opening the word document which i need to use as a template now i cannot use the template as it is but i need to make changes i need to put the name address i need to also update the designation so i need to work on this document before that i make this word document visible using wd dot visible equals true and then i need to make modifications according to every row all right so what we need to do is we need to actually find and replace the text all right we need to first of all find this name with these symbols in front and back and then we'll be replacing it with name of that particular row and then similarly we'll perform the same action for address and designation as well so i'll add a width block so with wd dot selection dot find all right so i will be adding this word with block to actually find and replace a particular text all right so this is the end of this with block and inside this i would say that dot text what it need to find is uh, this text value i let's say want to find this name uh, the special symbols that i have put to identify the name and then the replacement text that i can give like this replacement dot text this would be the value i need to read this value from the excel so i have the row number r r comma i know that for name it is first column one dot value all right so r comma one dot value would be the name that is the replacement text for name all right uh, i need to also put the execute statement so that it executes this find and replace otherwise it won't be executing this so dot execute and replace all occurrences so to replace all the occurrences what we need to do is wd replace all all right so wherever it finds the name in the document it will replace it with the value that is present in r comma one cell of this sheet all right so similarly i can copy and paste the same logic for designation and address what i need to change here is i just need to change the text here and the replacement text reference so address is uh, getting picked from second column so i'll put two there and designation i can put here designation and it is getting picked from third column so i need to put three there i can see here this is the actual text right so i have put it correctly and this is three now we have opened the document we have made the replacements now it is time to copy the content of the document and paste it in the body of the outlook mail we have already created the mail item earlier before working on the document now we need to set the properties of that mail item so to set the properties of this mail item i add another with block so with olm and it ends with end with right so first of all dot display i will make that mail item visible for everyone and then i am setting other properties for example to cc subject i can set all the properties of an email i will be doing the part for uh, the body after these things right so i have set to and subject for now so let's say the subject says promotion letters or appraisal letters whatever you can keep as a standard subject for all so now we need to work on that copy and paste part 
So for that what we need to do is we need to set editor and that editor is nothing but it is dot get inspector it is for mail item so olm dot get inspector but we are inside this with block so that's why it is not necessary to man mention olm here in front and we can directly start with dot get inspector and then dot word editor all right so after that we can paste in that editor so editor dot content dot paste would actually paste in the editor that we have for the body part all right so dot send would allow us to send this email but for now i am commenting it i have already put dot display so i can see the email generated but it won't be sending it so just after this we have already worked with the document we have copied the content now we can close the document we can also uh, free up the space which is consumed by the word application and document so set olm equals nothing for now let's say set doc equals nothing and set wd equals nothing and we also need to close the document so for that uh, we will be also putting wd dot uh, quit sorry not not close but for document it would be doc dot close so doc dot close to close the document and to quit the application wd dot quit now i'm also surrounding this uh, quit action with display alerts false and later i'll be enabling it by keeping it true and i am telling it that save changes equals false right so i do not want that when i close the document it should not save the changes because that is my template i do not want to save anything in the template and let's try to run this piece of code now and see if we are able to send it successfully or if we have something wrong i will show you we have made one mistake so it launches the outlook application it launches word application it makes it visible it opens the document and then it makes all the replacements it has replaced the name you can see mark is here address and designation are yet to be done so now address is replaced you can see it here and at the next step the designation would also be replaced all right so the letter is ready now and now we are working on the mail item so olm and dot display would display that mail item here it is dot to would set the to property dot subject would set the subject now we can see it has pasted something uh, which we have copied the reason is we have not put any code here to copy the content of the document right we are just pasting it we forgot to copy the content so we need to put a statement here just after making all the replacements so doc dot content dot copy so now we have copied the content of the document and that we would be pasting using the editor dot content dot paste i do not execute the entire code i just take it back and for now i am clearing all these things i know it won't be able to set the two property for now let's see uh, i would be just uh, showing you the body part and for the next email it would be generating as usual so you can see here it displays it which is already displayed two it was not able to set subject it is setting editor paste it would be pasting the letter which we have generated so it has pasted the letter for mark right so now let us move on to the next statement i am closing this letter so it is generating the second letter and third letter and the fourth letter now you have seen that all the letters have same name address and designation the reason is if i go to template it has actually saved the changes in the template now you must be thinking that we have put already in the code that it should not save the changes the reason is we made a mistake for save changes and i wanted to uh, bring this to your notice that you should not save the changes for the application quit action rather that should be put for document close action because see there are two parts of this application first is word application right and second part the inner part of it is the document the changes are getting saved in the document and not in the application so you need to go here you first close all the documents make changes to the template and make it as it was earlier 
and then save and close and here below you were closing the document doc dot close and here actually you should say that it should not save changes so save changes equals false so we should put it here and not at word quit action so we can remove it from here all right so now we are done with all the changes uh, we have corrected the entire code now let us run this piece of code in one go and see if it is able to generate four letters as we are expecting or not so i am binding this uh, macro to this button so i right click on it i assign this macro i select send mail which is a code that we have written and then i click on the button and now you can see that it has generated the four letters correctly so the last one is for ria and you can see the address is city 4 and the designation is also correct if we close for ria you can see the third one is for karan which is also correct second one is for james which is also correct and the first one was for mark which is also correct so that's how we can generate the letters according to our specifications in excel if you have any questions feel free to write to me